uh, our paper is about the negotiating uh, Chinese needs in the social VR platform called VR Chat. We look at how uh, mainland Chinese people and uh, overseas Chinese people uh, encountered in this platform and how they negotiate the notions of Chinese needs with each other. VR Chat is a quite relatively new uh, uh, new media. Uh, it's an immersive VR social platform, which is quite different from the previous like uh, previous test-based social uh, media platform like Facebook or Instagram. So uh, we want to examine that uh, how uh, this uh, new form of medium could bring to the intercultural communication. And what's more, like compared to other social VR platforms, like what Meta is doing, the Meta Horizon, uh, this one is really reaching the global connectivities, even including the mainland China, which was uh, often um, uh, was often separated from the uh, global uh, internet ecosystem. Our study uh, empirically captures a new phenomena uh, of the um, social web platform VR chat as a new avenue for connecting mainland Chinese and the overseas Chinese, uh, to which provide a, probably a new uh, opportunity for the uh, Chinese diaspora studies in the digital context. Uh, reimaginations of the uh, global village, this very classic and big question, the big concept, uh, which was raised by Marshall McLuhan many years ago. Um, we, th we, of course, like in this uh, in this platform, we still think uh, we have already witnessed uh, we have witnessed uh, some violent side of what McLuhan described. Uh, there are still extended sovereignty uh, by people who dislike each other, so they build up their own virtual world, even in a boundless uh, uh, virtual uh, uh, platform. Uh, but it also brings up some new hope, some new possibilities of the more open, more friendly intercultural communication. Uh, for example, as we said before, like the role of the voice uh, in this immersive VR platform is very important. Um, it brings some a, a sense of realness that uh, people could perceive each other as real people who have the real experiences. So they could um, it could could help people to trust each other better than a purely test uh, environment. This study really uh, makes us to rethink about the tension between the political culture, uh, political China and the cultural China. Because like in the previous study, we'll always only uh, think that the cultural uh, China uh, should be a bigger concept than the political China. But in this study, we are uh, through a, some unique cases, we look at actually maybe the, the tension between the political China and, chi uh, and cultural China should be reconsidered. We mainly uh, look at um, the intercultural communication problems from the lens of the uh, Chineseness, but actually, like in this uh, global social web platforms, there are many different uh, cultural groups from many different countries. So uh, we think that there is definitely a potential to expand the study to replicate the study in other social or cultural backgrounds. So we're looking forward if anybody are interested in do that.